Welcome to this enlightening lecture on Adam Smith's The Wealth of Nations. In this video, we will explore Book 2, titled Of the Nature, Accumulation, and Employment of Stock. This section delves into the fundamental concepts surrounding capital and its pivotal role in economic development. Smith highlights the importance of savings, investment, and the utilization of capital as drivers of economic progress. Join us as we unravel the intricacies of capital formation and its impact on the growth and prosperity of nations. Smith begins Book 2 by discussing the nature of capital. He defines capital as the accumulated wealth, including money, machinery, buildings, and other productive resources that is used in the production of goods and services. Capital is a crucial component in the process of economic development as it enables the creation and expansion of businesses, stimulates innovation, and drives economic growth. In Book 2 of The Wealth of Nations, Adam Smith provides a comprehensive analysis of the nature of capital, shedding light on its essential role in economic development. Smith defines capital as the accumulated wealth that encompasses not only money, but also tangible assets such as machinery, buildings, and other productive resources. Capital represents the store of value that is utilized in the production of goods and services, acting as a catalyst for economic growth. Smith emphasizes that capital is a vital component in the process of economic development. It serves as the fuel that drives entrepreneurial endeavors, stimulates innovation, and enables the creation and expansion of businesses. By investing capital into productive activities, individuals and societies can enhance their productive capacity and generate economic value. Capital plays a transformative role in economic activities by facilitating the acquisition and utilization of resources. It provides the means to acquire land, raw materials, and labor, which are essential inputs for production. Additionally, capital enables the adoption of advanced technologies and machinery, enhancing efficiency and output in various industries. With the aid of capital, businesses can leverage their resources to generate higher returns, expand their operations, and create employment opportunities. Moreover, capital serves as a medium for innovation and progress. Through the accumulation of capital, individuals and organizations can allocate resources to research and development, experiment with new ideas, and bring about technological advancements. These innovations, made possible by the availability of capital, can revolutionize industries, improve productivity, and drive economic growth. Capital accumulation is not only crucial for economic development, but also plays a vital role in providing stability and resilience to economies. It acts as a buffer against economic shocks and uncertainties. By accumulating capital, individuals and societies are better prepared to weather periods of economic downturns, as they have resources to rely on during challenging times. Smith emphasizes that the process of capital accumulation is driven by savings. Savings represent the portion of income that is not immediately consumed, but set aside for future investment. Through saving, individuals and businesses can accumulate capital, which can then be deployed in productive endeavors. Smith argues that a culture of savings is vital for the growth of capital and, subsequently, economic development. Furthermore, Smith explores the concept of reinvestment of profits as a significant source of capital accumulation. By plowing back, a portion of the profits generated from economic activities into the expansion and improvement of businesses, entrepreneurs can increase their capital base and propel further growth. In conclusion, Book 2 of The Wealth of Nations provides a deep understanding of the nature of capital and its role in economic development. Capital, encompassing accumulated wealth and productive resources, serves as the engine that drives innovation, facilitates investment, and fuels economic growth. It enables the creation and expansion of businesses, stimulates technological advancements, 
and improves productivity. Through capital accumulation, individuals and societies can enhance their productive capacity, generate employment opportunities, and improve living standards. By emphasizing the importance of savings and reinvestment of profits, Smith highlights the pathways to foster capital accumulation and pave the way for sustained economic development. Smith emphasizes the significance of capital accumulation for economic progress. He asserts that saving a portion of income is vital to accumulate capital. Savings are channeled into investments, allowing for the acquisition of machinery, the improvement of infrastructure, and the expansion of productive capacity. This accumulation of capital sets in motion a cycle of increased productivity, job creation, and rising living standards. Smith explores different sources of capital accumulation, such as frugality, prudence, and the reinvestment of profits. He discusses how individuals, businesses, and societies can foster a culture of saving and investment, enabling the growth of capital and the generation of wealth. In this section, Smith delves into the employment of stock, referring to the utilization of capital and productive activities. He emphasizes that the efficient allocation of capital is crucial for economic development. By investing capital in productive ventures, such as starting businesses, expanding industries, and improving technology, societies can unleash the potential for economic growth. Smith highlights the role of entrepreneurs in employing stock to create innovative products and services, generate employment opportunities, and fuel economic progress. He emphasizes that a favorable business environment, including secure property rights, minimal regulations, and access to capital, is essential for entrepreneurs to thrive and contribute to economic development. Furthermore, Smith discusses the importance of a well-functioning financial system in facilitating the employment of stock. He explores the role of banks, capital markets, and lending mechanisms in channeling capital to productive investments. A robust financial system ensures that surplus capital is allocated efficiently, stimulating economic activity and supporting entrepreneurship. Smith concludes Book 2 by underscoring the significance of capital in driving economic development. He argues that the accumulation and employment of stock lead to increased production, which, in turn, creates wealth and improves living standards. The growth of capital enables societies to invest in education, infrastructure, and technological advancements, further propelling economic progress. Smith stresses that sustained economic development relies on a continuous cycle of saving, investment, and capital accumulation. As capital increases, more resources are available for productive activities, fostering innovation, expanding markets, and spurring economic growth. In Book Two of The Wealth of Nations, Adam Smith provides invaluable insights into the nature of capital, its accumulation, and its employment in driving economic development. Capital, comprising accumulated wealth and productive resources, plays a vital role in fueling innovation, stimulating economic growth, and improving living standards. By emphasizing the importance of saving, investment, and the efficient utilization of capital, Smith offers a blueprint for societies to foster economic progress and prosperity. Join us as we continue exploring the timeless wisdom of the wealth of nations and its relevance.